According to Scotiabank, the Prime Minister's deficits are adding a two full percentage points extra in interest costs for the average family. That works out to about $6,000 for a modest mortgage of three hundred grand. Six grand in extra mortgage payments from these deficits alone. Will they finally wake up to the fact that this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost? The Honourable Minister for Housing, Infrastructure and Communities. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition seems to know the cost of everything but the value of absolutely nothing. Does he not see value in the measures that are building more homes in this country? Does he not see value in programs that are going to put food on the table for hungry kids through a school food program? He continues to oppose measures that are helping students with the cost of their education and the families with the cost of housing. Mr. Speaker, we will continue to put measures on the table to make life more affordable for middle-class Canadians and do right by a generation of young people who've been priced out of the housing market. It's a shame his policies would have the exact opposite effect. Here, here. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, we can't see the value of homes and food that don't exist here, here. after eight years. There is, they have a food program which, which, after eight years, has no food, an affordable housing program which has doubled housing costs. They're not worth the cost, and now their deficits are driving up the interest obligations for the average family. For a family with a $500,000 mortgage, deficits are adding 10 grand in additional interest payments per year. When will they realize that after eight years, this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost? Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Housing, Infrastructure and Communities. Mr. Speaker, he wants to talk about homes that don't exist. Perhaps we could, should look at the 800,000 affordable housing units that were lost while he was Housing Minister. Shame. Perhaps we should examine the fact that while he was Minister, zero new apartments were supported by the federal government and a total of only six affordable housing units nationwide. Now, he likes to talk a big game, but let's look at the plan he's putting on the table. He wants to raise taxes on home construction and cut funding for the cities that are making it easier to build homes. We've advanced programs that they're not just going to build more homes, but allow people to save up more money with their down payment and reduce their monthly mortgage costs when they go to join the housing market for the first time. Excuse me, Excuse me. Excuse me. I understand that there was a problem with interpretation. To see, is the interpretation now working from English to French? Do we have it, English to French? Do we have it working now? Can anybody give me a signal? Okay. Alors, je vais inviter le... So I will invite the minister to restart his answer because it wasn't understood by a number of members. The Honourable Minister for Housing, Infrastructure and Communities. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Member wants to talk about homes that don't exist. Let's talk about the 800,000 affordable housing units that were lost when he was last in government. Let's talk about the fact that when he was actually Housing Minister, he got zero apartments built with the support of the federal Shame. government. Let's look at the fact that across the entire country, he was able to get a total of only six affordable housing Shame. units built. Mr. Speaker, he talks a big game, but he does literally nothing for the people who need to get into the housing market. We've got new measures that help people who are renting now and measures that will make it easier to save up for a down payment and to reduce your monthly mortgage costs if you want to own a home in this country. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. More proof this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost is that he picked the most incompetent immigration minister in Canadian history and put him in charge of housing. The guy who lost track of a million people who is blamed by his fellow cabinet colleagues for causing the housing crisis and who presides over the most expensive housing market in Canadian history. When I was minister, the average rent was $950, and we built hundreds of thousands of units at that affordable price. So why won't he learn from our smashing success in 2015 in keeping costs low by axing the tax and building the home? The Honourable Minister for Housing, Infrastructure and Communities. Mr. Speaker, now at the time, they expressed opposition to our plan to welcome 40,000 Afghan refugees who fought alongside the Canadian Armed Forces. They seem still to have problems with the fact that we opened our doors to vulnerable Ukrainians. But let's actually focus on the housing issue right now, Mr. Speaker. He talks a big game about housing, but he plans to raise tax... They this entire question. Order. The Honourable 
order. I'm going to ask all members on all sides of the House to please, I'll ask the Honourable Member from Milton. including the honorable, all honourable members, to please bring this back to order. The honourable minister has 15 seconds left on the clock. Mr. Speaker, they get antsy when they're confronted with their actual record. Let's take a look at what he got done. Only six affordable housing units across the entire country. Lost 800,000 more. Zero new apartments. Now he wants to raise taxes on home building and cut funding for the communities who are getting them built. 